If you've held off picking up the Pixel 6 series ahead of the 6a's launch, you might be wondering just what the differences are. Well, here's everything you need to know about this duo. Our Pixel 6a coverage is brought to you by Phoenix, the minimal, lightweight, razor-thin case designed to enhance the look and feel of your phone without adding any extra bulk. Phoenix makes cases for those that want to show off their phone while still keeping it protected. You won't even notice the case is on until it falls to the ground and you notice it's done its job. There's a protective bumper surrounding the camera so that when you set down your phone or even drop it, the camera itself will be protected from scuffs and scrapes. And now to celebrate the launch of the brand new navy blue case for Pixel 6 and 6 Pro, you can get 20% off the entire lineup with code 95google at phoenix.shop or via the link in the description. Instead of hiding your phone in a thick rubber case, don't be a fat pocket freddy and try a Phoenix case for yourself. As you'd expect, the Pixel 6a and the Pixel 6 share a common design language, which is to say they look similar from afar. The distinct camera bar is a core selling point and it helps differentiate the entire Pixel 6 series from the rest of the industry. In the hand, you can actually tell that Google has opted to use more lightweight materials on the 6a, while the 6 is definitely dense, firm, and it just feels more premium in the hand. While the frame is also made on both of these devices from the same materials, the Pixel 6a has a polycarbonate backplate, which is actually lighter than the Gorilla Glass 6 back glass used on the Pixel 6. In terms of size as well, the 6.1 inch display and chassis of the Pixel 6a is definitely far smaller than the 6.4 inch Pixel 6. If you care about small phones, this 6a is not what we call small, but it's certainly the smallest in the Pixel 6 series. And of course, in terms of footprint, the screen size is marginally smaller with thicker bezels, but it comes with some notable downgrades. Firstly, the Pixel 6a OLED display is capped at 60 Hertz. There are slightly larger bezels, as we mentioned on all sides, and it has a Gorilla Glass 3 coating. Complaints over the in-display fingerprint scanner have been rife since the launch of the Pixel 6, and the 6a has a new scanner, which certainly appears to be more accurate or at least more consistent than it is on the Pixel 6 and 6 Pro. If you're worried about biometrics, then the Pixel 6a is certainly the better option, at least in our experience. Unlike in previous generations though, the flagship Tensor processor is actually being used for the first time in the A series. And this means you'll get almost high-end performance without the associated price tag. Gaming, video editing, and much more are all easy with either device, even with that lower six gigabyte RAM allocation on the newer Pixel 6a. Most of the other hardware areas certainly favor the Pixel 6, with a higher base RAM allocation, more storage options, and a larger battery. The color options will also be down to personal preference, but the bright and attractive color option on, is ditched on the Pixel 6a, with a gray and white chalk option being offered instead. Overall though, there are some great colors to choose from, whichever device you do want to pick up. In terms of software though, try and tell the difference between Android 12 running on the 6a and the Pixel 6, and you probably won't find many. This is the full fat, full featured version of the mobile OS running on both handsets with only hardware specific things such as the high refresh rate display settings being omitted. Magic eraser, motion modes, on device live translation and more are available for the Pixel 6a courtesy of that Tensor processor. This means you can access the plethora of Tensor powered options on the 6a that have been available on the Pixel 6 series since being unveiled back in October 2021. On top of that, it's worth noting that software support will cease after five years for the Pixel 6a and the Pixel 6. And this includes three full OS upgrades all the way to Android 15 with regular monthly security patches guaranteed to July 2027 for the 6a and October 2026 for the Pixel 6. If you want to hold on to your phone for a long time, it seems like the Pixel series proves to be among the best on Android once again, although we would love to see a few more OS upgrades thrown in in future. Despite being smaller though, the Pixel 6a manages to stuff in a fairly sizable 4,410 mAh battery, and that's almost 200 mAh less than the Pixel 6, but it should fare well given that the smaller display and lower refresh rate are on offer here. Both phones do last all day and include the whole plethora of battery saver modes alongside adapt adaptive battery and charging tweaks to help learn, improve, and even bolster your device longevity as it learns your use case and use habits throughout the time you own it. A contentious issue though with the new 30 watt fast charger released alongside the Pixel 6 and 6 Pro meant that they actually have capped top up speeds at 21 watts via wire. There's no such controversy with the Pixel 6a which retains 
the old tried and true 18 watt charging that's being seen on every Pixel up to and including the Pixel 5a. It takes around an hour and a half to two hours to go from zero to 100%. That's probably gonna give you more than enough to get it through a busy day. For the first time since the inception of the Pixel A series, the 6a is actually set to come with a lesser camera setup than the Pixel 6. Google is diverging the lineups and that means you get a tried and tested setup one that is now almost four years old. The Sony IMX363 is paired with the IMX386 ultra wide on the Pixel 6. By 2022 standard, it's definitely on the cusp of mid to low end of the camera hardware spectrum, but with four years of sensor image tuning, the quality is actually just a few steps behind the best in the business. Comparing directly to the Pixel 6 and its 50 megapixel ISOCELL GN1 main sensor, it leaves only one winner, but the Pixel 6a is actually capable of impressive images and solid video that is backed by EIS and OIS, something not ordinarily associated with the low end or the mid range of Android. What's more impressive is that Google has managed to pack in many of the biggest selling features of the Pixel 6 and 6 Pro, at least in terms of camera, into the Pixel 6. That means you've got real tone, cinematic pan, locked focus, and much more. They're all included and available right out of the box. And that's all despite the dip in resolution for the main sensor. It means you don't drastically lose out as the ultra wide angle as well. That remains the same across both devices here. So it's not too bad, all things considered. Overall though, in summary, Google's newest mid range is yet another excellent price accessible option for those wanting the cleanest Android experience that you can buy. However, the minor price difference between the Pixel 6a and the baseline Pixel 6 means it's actually hard to recommend that someone choose the A series model unless you're happy to live with selected omissions or downgrades. Even at $449, while a good price, the Pixel 6a is a tough sell for those wanting everything that Google or a Google Pixel can offer. Now that the Pixel 6 is available on average under $550 at most retailers and with further discounts on top, you might want to look towards the more premium device unless you want the marginally smaller handset and can deal with certain hardware being cut. The simple fact is that paying an extra $100 to $150 genuinely gets you a better handset. So that's the Pixel 6a versus the Pixel 6. Let us know what you think down in the comment section below, which device you would choose and why. Uh, we're really interested to see how people feel about this. Are they going to go for the, would you go for the Pixel 6 over the 6a or would you pick the 6a for specific reasons? Let us know. Really, really interesting subject matter. But until next time, hopefully this has cleared up some confusion between the two hardware pieces. But as always, this is Damien with 95 Google saying thanks for watching and I will speak to you later. Our Pixel 6a coverage has been brought to you by Phoenix, the ultra lightweight case maker. Each case is completely branding free for a sleek look that doesn't detract or distract from the main event, your Pixel 6. On top of that, all cases ship in just one business day and are even backed by a 100% money back guarantee if you're not completely satisfied, which we're sure you will be. Head to the link in the description to learn more and get 20% off your own Phoenix case for your Android phone.